Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys. I have missed you guys so much. It's just been too, too long. And I'm so happy that finally I have, I've sort of turned a new leaf. I've just recently, I've just basically been eating really well. And this is what this video is going to be about. It's basically gonna share with you what I've been doing in the past four weeks, how I've tried to change the way that I eat, the habits that I have that I've tried to eliminate and exactly what I'm doing. And if you guys want to contribute and let me know how you guys stay healthy and how you guys stay fit, then please post your comments below. I would love to hear from you. But yeah, this video basically on Instagram, I posted a picture of my breakfast, which was a salad um, sort of a breakfast salad I would say. It just had like mixed leaf salad, tuna, boiled eggs, What a, I made a dressing from balsamic vinegar and I was just like, you know, let me share this with everyone. And then there was a huge response that you guys wanted me to show you exactly what I've been eating. And to be honest, I can't wait to share it with you because it's not just what I've been eating, it's also just sort of an outlook that I've had that I wanted to kind of be able to change the way that I was eating, change the habits that were, I would say, kind of negative um, in terms of the way I was eating, what I was eating, because I'm the type of person that I kind of, I can eat whatever I want. Like, I know some of you are gonna be like, what? I can eat whatever I want and not necessarily put on weight. I would say maybe I've got high metabolism. So I put it down to that. So it wasn't a case that I wanted to lose weight. It was more a case that I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be around longer so that I can see my son grow up, that I can see his grandkids, not his grandkids, I don't know if I'll be around that long, but at least his children. So it was just a conscious decision to try and lead a healthier lifestyle. So it all started when I went to Dubai and me and my husband got talking. He's basically been living a more healthier lifestyle for the past year and I've just been eating whatever I wanted. And then I was like, well, actually, if you felt your benefits from eating this healthy food, then, you know, how good would I feel? Because to be honest, for the past eight months, I haven't been feeling myself. I've been quite low. I've felt quite down and I can't explain why. And I just don't know what it is. It's not anything that I could actually pinpoint and say that it was this or that. So, um, so it just came down to the fact that I'm going to change my eating habits and I'm going to see if it has an effect on my mood and how I feel. And surprisingly, it had such an amazing and almost drastic change on the way that I was feeling that I thought, oh my God, how did I not change the way that I was eating much sooner? So what was it that I was doing? So basically, I used to kind of snack a lot. I used to not have a proper breakfast. I would have toast with, you know, I would consider it that it would be healthy, like cheese on toast and um, very much sort of bread and wheat oriented diet and breakfast so I would necessarily not necessarily just eat bread but it would be toast jam toast button toast um, toast with whatever it was a toast 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 like bread and wheat and everything like that all the time and I wasn't really noticing that it was going to be so you know detrimental to my health until in Dubai I picked up this magazine and I it was all about health and and, and beauty and things like that. And I read that it that it actually stated there was scientific evidence that wheat actually ages you. And I was like, what, wheat? Wheat ages you? Like, what? what is this? Why do we not know about this? Like, there's so many things on makeup and beauty and all this loads of information on how to look beautiful and how to um, make yourself look pretty with makeup and things which is all good it's fine but then we're not being told or we're not being fed this knowledge that actually what you eat is actually going to have a much more sort of beautification and purification of your skin and the way that you look so i started to read this article and i was like oh my god wheat is aging me so if i cut out wheat you know i can at least look younger and feel younger for longer instead of you know not feeling as 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 good as I could be. So from that day, I decided to cut out wheat completely. So all the bread that I was having, all the pasta and all those things, I had to actually stop having that. Now I'm gonna link down below the um, sort of scientific research that's based around what I'm saying. But yeah, so I've literally decided to cut out wheat from my diet. And um, to be honest, we are not able to digest wheat, just so that you guys know. As humans, we actually are intolerant to wheat and 
gluten and lactose which is also um, found in milk so you know there's so much that I can actually go into this but I'm just gonna break it down for you and tell you exactly what I've been doing and what I've cut out so I don't have any more bread I'm actually having wheat free bread which is usually made from rice flour so any bread obviously no more hovis or all the other stuff I'm having wheat free bread I don't have any more um, pasta I have gluten free pasta so all the wheat and all the um, gluten has been eliminated from my diet I don't have any more bread and to be honest I feel so much better I don't feel bloated anymore I don't feel um, you know sometimes you eat something and you feel like oh my god I feel like I've eaten loads but really you haven't you may have just had like a slice or two of toast so no more wheat the other thing is that I have Obviously, because I don't have the wheat, I'm thinking, what am I going to have for breakfast? So, what I have for breakfast now is that I have a lot more um, goodness. Like, I have uh, fruit and vegetables, and I have these nuts. So, my hubby used to always have these nuts, and that he used to eat, and I was like, you don't make me any. So, <laughs> so I asked him to actually start making me his little bowl um, full of fruits and um nuts like this so I would have dates so there's these two dates and to be honest if you want to cut out chocolate from your diet then I would suggest going for an alternative like dates because they are natural in sugars and they taste just as good if not better I have walnuts as well for breakfast as well as some cashews some Brazil nuts some almonds as well so all of that that's part of my breakfast but at the same time I have things like boiled eggs um salad leaves i would have the tuna so i'll have a like niswa salad with a vinaigrette dressing and i will list things down below that you can try as an alternative to what you're currently having but i would highly suggest that you do also cut out wheat from your diet because it's not only going to aid you it's going to make you feel bloated it's going to actually make you feel lethargic you're going to feel like you have no energy and now i have bounds of energy like i literally spring out of bed and I can't believe I'm saying this because I sometimes would wake up before my son Sammy does whereas before it was the other way around where he would wake up and I'll just be like oh my god and I feel like what's going on I've had like eight or nine hours sleep why do I still feel tired it's because of my diet or was because of my diet my diet was not what it is now now it's just full of nutrition full of healthy goodness so think about it you're feeding your cells all this goodness obviously your body's going to thrive it's going to have the energy that it wants and that it can you know go through the day and the motions that it needs to and your brain and your cells are going to be working to their optimum so i'm going to share with you a list of things that you can try but the point of my video the point of this is please stop having wheat try and take out wheat from your diet stop having breads stop having pasta have an alternative go to gluten free go to um rice uh rice based breads like there's a whole we have tesco in the uk and there's one just down the road from me and they have alternatives like free from um which has free from wheat free from gluten and all the rest of it so try taking out the wheat from your diet and the other thing is feed your body with goodness fresh fruit fresh vegetables unprocessed foods so cut out all the processed stuff now like i'm crazy like to the extent that i used to love crisps now i don't even crave crisps anymore i used to reach for crisps when i wanted to snack i don't snack anymore because i'm feeding my body with so much goodness i don't even feel the need to snack so I have a massive breakfast, which is like this, the Nassau salad that I had on my Instagram page. And I would have my nuts as well, which I haven't had just yet because the Nassau salad actually filled me up. So this would be my snack. So when I get a little bit hungry, I would actually just snack on this. And your body will thrive. Trust me, guys. Do it and you will be amazed at how much your body will thrive, how great it would feel and how much energy you have, especially as a mum, trust me, if you're a mum and you're feeling lethargic and you don't know why and you're thinking I'm eating and whatever, but you're not eating the right foods, you need to cut down on the wheat and have more natural goodness, like vegetables, like broccoli, all the green 
all the green fruit and veg. I could go on and on and on about this. So if you want me to be specific on what you should eat, if you'd like me to film videos where I'm maybe making the, the things that I eat in front of you so that you guys can get ideas, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Then I will know that you want this type of information. So I hope this video is informative and I hope you do change your diet because I'm living proof of the fact that when I change my diet, I feel so much better. I feel so much healthier. My skin is radiant and I just feel alive. Like finally, I have, um, oh, and another thing, I have the endorphins that come from food. So all the feel good hormones are coming from all the fresh fruits and vegetables that I'm having. So I feel like, I feel on such a high level of energy that I kind of, I'm just, you know, living for, for today and for the moment and not feeling like lethargic or anything. So guys, please adopt this new way, this new lifestyle of taking out wheat from your diet, feeding your body with fresh fruits and vegetables, having as m less processed foods as possible. They are so bad for you. And I can make a whole new video about processed foods as well. Oh, so much more yet to say uh, and if you'd like more information leave me a comment below let me know what it is you'd like me to cover and I will do my best to make that happen so until the next time guys I hope to see you in a nice healthy state of mind body and soul take care guys bye bye